hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here I want to welcome you I do appreciate you coming by I am a full-time nurse part-time reseller and I am mom of three kids as well so I do videos on what's sold on eBay some thrift hauls garage sales and this video is going to be an unboxing video so I did get this lot off of shopgoodwill.com and it is some vintage cameras so I am going to attempt to put the tripod on this time it was a little shaky for the last unboxing so let's see if we can get this done better so let's see what we got guys Alright guys, so here is our box. It is a pretty big box and if you see here, it is 37 pounds. So I am going to try and set you guys up here and let's see what we got. So six plus shipping. So a total of $92.87 all in. I will tell you guys, I could not see model numbers on most of these. And what I'm going to do is show you guys everything. And then I typically list stuff from my box lots and put up on the screen what I sold them for. All right, guys, sorry about the noise before. We'll see if the baby will be a little quieter. He might and he might not be. So first up is this Canon. And it looks like it is EOS Rebel. And it does have the lens here, which looks to be pretty good. This is a film camera. So there is that one. And like I said, I will do my listings and pop them up for you guys. And then next, this looks like it is a Vivitar 4000S. There is a little bit of graying there. This one doesn't have a lens cover. nice Chaco sticker there. This one's a film camera as well. And in the listings for this lot, I could not see any of the model numbers again. So I did not know what I was getting. This is a Sony. Let's see if we see. It looks like it says CD Mavica. And this is a digital camera. It looks like maybe it takes the little discs. I'm not sure. So we'll have to kind of look that up. Um, it does have a battery in here. We can see if it'll turn on. I don't see. Let's see. I think the battery is dead, but there is that one. And then we have a Vivitar filter. And it does say it is 62 millimeters. This is a halogen display lamp. Osram. This maybe we can find by looking up the scan code there. Next is this Olympus. This is an Infinity Super Zoom 300. And that is a film camera as well. So that's a little bit different. I haven't seen one like that. And then here in the box, 
Let's see if I can tilt you guys up a little bit. Uh, Vivitar Electronic Flash, and it has the model number here. So that looks, I'm not sure if it's new, but it is in very good condition there. Next is another Osram halogen display lamp, so I might be able to lot those two up. This is a Zadix Junior 35 millimeter viewer. There's that, that's kind of cool. And then this is a Kodak projection lens. And you do want to make sure if you get these lots that what's in the box is actually what it says. This is a Sync Yo electronic system EK or ES-44XL in the box. This looks kind of old. And inside, at first glance it looks clean, but if you look here, there's kind of some gunk there built up. So we might have to see if we can clean that, but overall looks to be in decent condition. Up next is this Canon PowerShot S1IS. This is a digital camera. This is one of the first ones probably. It's got a little flip screen there. It's only, um, where did I just see it? 3.2 megapixels, so this one might not be worth very much. This Olympus. This is a Trip MD3. And this is a film camera as well. And that functions well. It does have a $3 work sticker on it, so maybe it was at a garage sale. And it has the little case with the belt clip. Let's see. This is just some paperwork for Olympus Camera Trip MD3, which actually I believe is that last one that I just showed. And they do have the actual barcode for that as well. Next, and this leather case is super nice. If you see here. These are. They do have the instructions. They are. Sands and Strife. Not sure what this bag is for, if you guys know. Just says moisture absorber. I guess it's probably good. And then these are as a nice wipe for them. So these, I think, were probably taken care of very well. They do have lens covers on the back as well as the front. And these have a model here. Looks like 805 G1 G710645. So I will have to look that up. Next, we have a big camera bag here. So there's quite a bit. Let's see. So there's a Vivitar Auto Thyristor here. Here's another Vivitar lens. And 
and then you can see here Vivitar 62 milliliter millimeter skylight 1A and a lot of times you can get the numbers off of the lens here on the front still digging in this bag there are just some random lens covers I'm not sure what this even is It looks like maybe just for a lens, a little container. There are more lens covers. I'm just digging through this bag. And then this is a Canon AE-1. There's your lens. trying to see if I saw Canon on the lens, but I do not. There is this Aki bag. Inside of here is this cap. So this is a two-in-one wide-angle macro lens. I don't know what that clips for. You're still in this bag. That is all on that side. And this side we've got looks like just some random lens covers. They are Canon, so I might be able to lot up the Canon lens covers. There's a Lens Wonderland book. And then sometimes the booklets are worth something, guys. Canon FD lenses. A Vivitar book. There's an old picture. Look, you can win a Lotus in 1991 for $32,000. All right, that is all in that bag. I'm going to set that back in there because I'm running out of room on the table. Down here is a Pentax Zoom 105R. This feels like a pretty heavy camera. There's your on off. This is another film camera. So there's a plug here. I'm not sure what that's for. Most of these I gen generally will sell them as untested. Let's see. So we have another bag here. Samsonite. So it looks like there is a JVC Digital Navigator DVD. JVC Instructions. Let's see that the book is for. This is a JVC Evrio. This looks extremely clean. Hard disk drive. It does look like it has an extra like large battery there, but this is a very clean camera. And it looks like there is a data transfer cable in here. There is also a JVC AC adapter in here. This 
some of these camcorders are worth something some aren't here is the remote for it which that remote by itself might be worth some money so i will look at what price they're going for for the remote and what price for the camera as a lot and then it looks like there is an additional data battery i didn't see a charger i don't know if it charges via that cable on the camera or how that works but there is that and then we have this box here it's a kodak box it says it's a universal slide tray and that's what it is an old slide tray we have one box left guys this is heavy so this has got a Polaroid case. Let's see. So in here, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so it looks like there's original booklets here. This is another lens. Whoa. I'm not sure if you guys can see there. Um, Polaroid self timer, number 192. There's a couple of flashes here. And this does say Polaroid model 268. There is an original strap for the camera. There's another lens here. This says Polaroid close-up kit for use with Polaroid Automatic 250. That does look like it has a little bit of damage there. I'm not sure, just some something. There's a close-up lens there. Then there's another flash. And then there's also this Polaroid portrait kit, 581A. Portrait attachment. And then, this thing is so heavy. This is, I think, like a professional Polaroid. I'm not sure. Trying to figure out how to get in here. Okay, there we go. So this is the last item, a Polaroid land camera 360. It has different film speeds here. You can lighten, darken. Um, this is, I think this accordion's out, but I don't know how and I don't want to mess it up. So, yeah. Let's take your picture. So that is working. It looks like there's some, I don't know if that's film in here, it's empty. I don't know, maybe there's another picture in there. Huh. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Ugh. Anyways, that's probably really old. So, yeah, there's still film in it. Oh! All right, that's all, guys. All right, guys, so as you see from some of the comps that I popped up on the screen, there are a couple of these cameras that once they sell, the whole lot will be in profit. One of the cameras already did sell before I even finished making this video. It was only $15, but that gets us even closer to that $100 mark to be in the profit. So just check old film cameras, and if you can find bundles of cameras for a good deal, I was about $5 in on this deal, then I would definitely check them out, comp them out, and look for something that might be extremely valuable, the lenses as well and <clears throat> excuse me and um 
definitely, I would say, list whatever you can. Like, if you see, I did find a ticket stub in the side of one of the bags, and I did list that, as well as um, some little pamphlets that were in there, because I want to try and get the most money out of that lot that I can. So, hopefully, I will have a jewelry unboxing coming for you guys soon, and we'll kind of do some tutorials on how to identify the jewelry and how to list the jewelry. So I appreciate you guys watching very much and I will see you guys next time. Oh, was that so big?